we have the lacrosse projection clock. It's an alarm clock and it projects the time on the wall behind the clock. I'm going to get right to why most of you probably came to this video, how to set the time, alarm, and then the calendar, the year, month, and day. So let's take a look at the back. You have mode, set, up and down, and max and min. Mode just rotates between time, alarm, and date. Let me show you that. Right now we're on time. Alarm. You can tell because it says AL for alarm. And now there's calendar. You have the year on top and you have your month and day. So again, time, alarm, calendar. Let's go back to time to start setting it. You have to be in the mode you want. We want to work on our time. We want to make some modifications. So to start changing the time, you have to hold and press the set button for like three seconds. If you just tap it, watch what happens. If you only tap it, it switches from Celsius, C to C, to Fahrenheit, okay? So while you're in time mode, to change, start changing the time, hold and press the set button for like three seconds. And now the first thing you're asked, do you want 12 hours or 24 hours? You press the up or down button, and that switches when you're done. Oh, well, I don't want that. Let's go back to 12 hours. When you're done, you're going to press your set button. The next item, the hour starts flashing. Again, up or down as, as needed. When you're done, press set. The next item starts flashing the minutes. Go up, down, and up, or whatever you need. When you're done, if you're totally done, you can just click mode to stop it. And now I'm, I've exited. Nothing's flashing. So now that's how you set the time. Let's review that one more time. Make sure you're in time mode. Press and hold the set button. First item starts flashing. Set goes to the next item to change. The hours set again goes to the minutes. And again, to make changes, press up and down. When you're totally done, press set and make some more changes if you didn't do it right. When you're totally done, you know you got it right, press mode to exit. Now nothing's flashing, we're done. So to change the alarm, you press the mode button. Make sure, keep pressing mode till it says AL. Hold and press the set button for like three seconds. Again, first item to be changed starts flashing, the hours. So up or down is needed. When you're done, press set. The next item to be changed in minutes starts flashing. Up or down is needed. When you're done, if you know you're done, you can just um, press mode to get out. And now um, if I press mode one more time, I'm in calendar mode. The top says it's 2016, September 17th. So if I hold and press the mode button, the year flashes. I can go down or up or whatever I want. When I'm done, I press set. Now my month flashes. Again, down or up till you're done. Press set and you go to your days. Down or up is needed. When you're done and if there's no more changes, press mode to get out. If you've made a mistake, you just press set to rotate around again. So say I'm totally done, mode to get out. So that's how you set the hours, the alarm, and the calendar. Let me show you something. I'm back on time now. So let me show you one thing. It's pretty obvious. It's the same with all clocks. If I press set to start making changes, press it asks for 12 or 24, Set again the hours. If I, you see how it says PM? If I keep pressing up, if I go past midnight, 
the PM went away. It just goes around. So I think that's pretty standard. But just so you know, you just as you go around, the PM appears as needed. Let me see. Oh. I want to go back down to 7.59 PM. There. That's close. And now set goes to minutes. Press up because it's 7.59. When I'm done, X out. So that gives you a good idea how to set the time, the alarm, and the count. To turn the alarm on or off, you have to press mode to you're in alarm mode, AL. And now you just press the up button. The up button. See, it's even marked alarm on or off. So when you're in alarm mode, make sure it says AL. See, I just turned it off. I turned it back on. Off, on. Okay? So you have to be in alarm mode to turn the alarm on or off. If the alarm's going off and you press the top button, snooze, it'll snooze for four minutes and you'll see some, like a few Z's here flashing. Earlier I mentioned um, if you just tap the set button, it switches between Celsius and Fahrenheit. So let me, you got to be on the time mode. There we go. And now if I just tap the set button, I don't hold and press it. If I just tap it quickly, see Fahrenheit, Celsius. Fahrenheit, Celsius. So that should give you a pretty good idea how to use the clock. It projects, it says projects to a back wall. So, and there's a focus dial where you can sharpen the image as needed. So you go back and forth. And if your clock ever totally gets messed up or it's froze up or something, try to take a pen tip or a paper clip and hold and press the reset button. So I hope that gives you an idea of how to use this. The max min, it sets the, I guess it means something in the temperature world, but see it says minimum temperature and max temperature. Maybe that's for the day or something. I'd have to, um, you'd have to research that. So that's basically the LaCrosse technology projection clock. I hope that's helpful. Again, um, let me just review, because it's a little odd. Go to the mode you want, hold and press the set button to start setting. Okay, and use your up and down buttons to change. Hit set to go on to the next item. When you're totally done, hit mode to exit. Thank you.